Mr Brumby, thank you for taking the time to talk to us about the government's plans for transport in Victoria as we come up to the election. Now, uh, here is a map of planned road improvements that have been produced, we believe, by the Department of Transport. That's right, this shows our government's commitment to transport infrastructure going into the 21st century. Well, can you tell us a, a bit more about that? Well, these uh, blue lines are 12 plus lane freeways and these brown lines are 8 plus lane highways. This is an integrated solution for Victoria and Victorians. And it will have an enormous economic flow on. Yes, so how much of this is definite, Premier? Actually happening? Uh, it's, it's all definite. Actually budgeted for? Yes, uh, in fact the contracts have been let. It's all watertight, locked down, uh, going into uh, 2058. What, you mean it's all gone out to tender already? The contracts have been let. We have a diverse range of consortia uh, doing the implementation, thus ensuring a maximum security of access. All public-private partnerships, I assume? It's not necessarily to go into that sort of detail, but the uh, contract arrangements are absolutely appropriate for this type of project for Victorians and Victoria going into the 21st century. So it will be toll then? That's right. And the cost? It will be $92 billion, that may sound a lot, but this is essential for providing the transport future for Victoria. Well, that's just the cost of the government. The uh, contract details are a matter of commercial and confidence, which you, you will understand is essential to uh, enable business confidence in investment in Victoria for Victorians. Can you tell us a bit more about this range of consortiums? Um... How many of them there are, for instance? It's just the one consortia, but there are a number of sub-consortiums to ensure uh, security and ease of administration. It's important to note, however, that there's a, a, an extremely diverse range of location implementation. The uh, integration aspect leads to considerable cost savings. So who's doing it? Beltrex. And what's that squiggle over in Gippsland? That's the 10-lane uh, integrated grid facility. After extensive consultation in the area, we uh, found there was enormous popular demand for a, a solution of this type for farmers and workers in the Gippsland area. So we agreed to put this in and uh, there will be considerable economic flow on to the rest of Victoria. It's unique to Victoria. Uh, this is uh, Mary De Young, wasn't it? That's right. Uh, didn't they do the same thing in uh, Sudan? Bulgaria and a few other places. Ah, uh, no, that's true, but this uh, solution is uniquely tailored to the needs of Victoria. Well, it looks pretty well exactly the same to me. No, see this point here, it's longer. Ah, oh, that's true. Oh, but that's customisation, isn't it? Wouldn't that cost more? Only uh, $1.3 uh, billion dollars more, but the customisation was absolutely necessary to achieve a solution tailored to the needs of farmers and families in Gippsland. What are those dotted lines going across the Alps? Tunnels. Sir Rod. Sir Rod Eddington has recommended that a fast, efficient road connection between the Rungarato area and the Orbust area is actually crucial to the economic and social needs of Victoria going into the future. You might say it's an integral part of our plan. Thanks, Mr Brumby. Well now, uh, what if we look at the plans for the train network in Victoria? Uh, the government is putting a significant extension to the rail network in country Victoria. This will en ensure there's a correct balance between uh, road and rail for the state uh, uh, that um, ordinary Victorians are going to use, including you and me and farming communities and families going into the future. Oh, that's extraordinary. You're restoring all the old lines and putting in new ones. Algeria, Horsham, access to Adelaide, even back on the map. <laughs> that's right. You are announcing this now on ABC Television. Well, yes, I am announcing it. It's not to say the plan hasn't been available for the last year or so. Uh, well, congratulations, Mr Brumby. Uh, I think we can agree that this outdoes anything in public transport for decades in Victoria. So, uh, everything here committed, locked down, contracts let, as before? Not quite. The arrangements are still in progress. So, how much is locked down? I'm sorry? Here. We are promising two and a half billion dollars over the next seven and a half years for the stall extension to support the stall gift. This is something that people in the area have been
Limerick? Crying out for, for some time. It's a major Braille initiative and we'll send a message to the rest of Australia that Victoria is the sporting capital of Australia. Seven and a half years. Uh, seems a long time. Rail is an extremely complex technology. Uh, there will need to be feasibility studies and engineering consultancies to ensure that the public has utmost confidence in the safety of our system. A feasibility study? Well, it's a feasibility study. Uh, that will take uh, the uh, seven and a half years and after that is complete, we will decide whether it's appropriate to continue with the project or not. So, uh, the rest of it, what's the plan there? Uh, where's your commitment to rail? Look, the fact that we haven't had to tie it down is evidence of our commitment. We uh, can promise you categorically that we will implement this plan. The fact that I can say this without forward estimates is evidence that the Minister and I are totally committed to this plan for rail infrastructure for country Victorians and farmers in these days of climate change and the need for them to have access possibilities just like the people in the city to infrastructure. So uh, getting back to the roads, what's the timeline there? Oh, that will all be complete in the next three years, and what you've seen is uh, really only phase one. Well, thanks, Mr Premier. Uh, you've hit us with quite a bombshell there. The, uh, the ABC is thrilled to be able to tell the people of Victoria about this significant development in transport. Thank you.